Hey guys, good morning, Anthony here. It is Thursday, May 16th, 2024. It's about a quarter to 11 a.m. in the morning. A really nice day today. Everything's drying out from the hard rains we had uh, yesterday. So what, I, what I'm doing this morning here, I took uh, Teddy and Charlotte with me and we're in the camper and uh, we're running the wire for the Jackery Explorer 1000 hookup to run the camper, which you see right here. I have the Jackery in the corner of the kitchen area just behind the stove and um, I've got the 12 volt plug, which is this plug here. This is the actual one I purchased on Amazon. It's a cigarette lighter to uh, XT60 female, okay? I think it's five feet or six feet. So the Jackery's just sitting in the corner there and it's running the, um, the RV, which is right now just the fan that I have running in the bathroom, pulling air through. So you're using 29 watts and the battery's at 98 percent charged so that is plugged in and what I did was I picked up these on Amazon tidy helper clips 45 pieces I forget how much they were I'll put links to these in the description box and I'm just trying them out for the first time and what I did was I just stuck them on here they look like this they're just a uh, give you a better look it's just a clip that the wire runs through you can put them on Pretty much any hard surface it's got a 3m backing on it it seems pretty strong and so um i stuck one here one here along the counter and one here in the edge of the counter so there's three right there so just keeps it out of the way and then coming down by the fire extinguisher i put two more so there's one there and one there and then the wire just kind of goes behind the fire extinguisher under the little mat that I have here by the the screen door where Teddy's sitting and then it comes to the area where the fuse panel is where the main wire comes out which I did a video on this several videos showing you how I hook to the positive and negative and then so that wire from the Jackery continues running up the side here by the cabinet okay right between the screen door frame uh, here and the cabinet it attaches to the piece running from the fuse box right here to the xt60 connector right there and i just put made a little loop here put one there one there and one there just to keep the wire out of the way so it looks clean you can't really trip on it um as long as you keep the mat, I'm going to get a better mat here. Um, you just keep the mat over it. You're you're good to go, basically. And so what that gives me right now, I could unhook this. I could unplug the wire, unclip it, and take it all out. So nothing's permanent. So if I'm running off grid, I just have a system right here to keep the wire out of the way. I could set it up real quick. I know it's going to reach from there to that corner and keep the jackery out of the way but still give us access to uh, the USB C's um, and the other ports to charge our phones and then the three uh, 110 volt ports and then also I could bring in solar through here or here from the outside um, and charge that battery this battery, the Jackery Explorer 1000, I think takes up to 200 watts. So I could hook up a 200 watt, 200 watts of solar, put it outside, run the cable, the solar wires in. And like I told you, I'm going to be running the solar wires somewhere through a port. I'm going to drill through the camper, run a port. So I could just put feed the solar wires in, have the Jackery running the camper off grid and also charging at the same time. And again, you can see here, I'm running lights, no problem. Uh, I'm not sure if the Dometic refrigerator will go on or not. Let me see something here. Because I know it can run on electric. 
I'm going to have to press battery and see what happens. Let's see what happens with that. So the wattage just went up to 71 watts. 112. So it looks like I could run the refrigerator off this as well. So there you see my setting is on high. I'm running it off battery. Okay. And it's lit up inside. So this refrigerator is running. I don't know. I haven't tested it, so I don't know how it's going to run long term. But just showing you here is the first time I'm messing around with it. It is working. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that and see what the wattage goes down to. Okay, I just shut that off. And my wattage just is dropping now to 80. It should go back down to the 30, 30 watts just for the ceiling fan. Okay, so I know the Jackery right now is doing its job. The wires are out of the way and I could run off grid. I could run the slide like I showed you guys the other day. I could run all the house lights inside. I could run, I don't have any water in the system. I could take a shower if I wanted to, if I had water in the tank, it'll heat water. Um, the radio is active. I showed you that also the other day. Just show you again, for those of you that may not have seen the video. learned about what banks are required to provide to the, to the feds to the government it blew my mind is your money real and the TV here is a plug-in I could easily unplug that TV and uh, plug it into the Jackery with an extension cord and run the TV as well and you see here on the bed area I keep the table the kitchen table right there on the mattress while the camper's in storage. I have the windows open on the bed here on the left and the right just to get some air today. But you see here the lights are all working. Let's do this. Let's turn on all the lights since I'm doing tests here. We'll turn on all the lights in the camper that I could reach. I think I could reach this one above the slide and we'll see how many watts we're pulling. Okay. I think I have all the lights on except the shower light. Let me see something. No, that's, excuse me, that's the uh, outdoor light. Shower lights over here. Sorry about that. So the shower lights on, the fan, exhaust fan is running. All the other LED lights are on in the camper, every single one. Um, like, oh, we got one under here by the seating area here by the couch And there you see the blue eddy the next video. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the same thing, but hook the blue eddy up with its cables and I think I'm gonna keep the blue eddy in This corner the far corner there So when the slide is open we have that whole counter area to access the blue eddy because it's a little too big I could fit it here, but it's too close to the stove. If I want to use the stove or something here, the blue eddy is just a little too bulky. That, that corner looks better for it. So we just bumped up to 64 watts. We have no wattage coming in, so there's no solar coming in. The battery's at 97%. We're running off of 12 volts and 10 amps, I think it is. So as long as I don't go over the 10 amps, um, I'm good with this battery. So let's turn on the fridge again. Battery. And see what happens. We should see a bump up in the wattage in just a second here as the fridge compressors turn on and there you see it's going up so 
So, okay. The fridge is on. I guess when the compressor goes on, that's going to go up even higher. But, yep, we could run the refrigerator off that as well. So that's my uh, test today on the Jackery Explorer 1000 running the RV just with a cleaner setup here with the wires. Show you guys. I know this is a 10 minute video, but it's going to help me as well in the future if I need to go back and look at something. Um, and hopefully it'll help some of you guys that are, you know, contemplating doing this. I just, you know, set this up where I drilled right through the side here. Took the door off, took this whole piece off, accessed the positive and the negative at the top here, and just ran that wire in there. And that's it, so I could just plug and play. That's what I wanted. Want to go off grid, we're stopped somewhere. We gotta run stuff. We could go off grid and run lights, fans, refrigerator, and do it two ways one with a smaller battery that's easier to you know take in and out maneuver and for a longer period of time this battery the blue eddy is a little over 60 pounds but it's 2000 watts with 4800 surge watts so and it could take 700 watts of solar so for a longer term the blue eddy is the answer but for a short term quick off the grid stuff the jackery 1000s no problem so let me know if you have any questions or comments i'll put the links to this stuff that i bought i also bought the uh, 10 foot extension cable if i needed it when i set up the blue eddy i may need it so in the next video you'll see that um you might see that cord all right anthony signing off teddy and charlotte you guys want to say something you guys are having fun, right? You like coming to the camper, right? Yep. Okay, so Anthony signing off. Take care and uh, stay ready.